hopefully you guys saw what you needed to see because now I'm gonna go ahead and look at it. What's up tribe and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again. If you are new here, my name is Mariah and my husband and I are on a journey to conceive rainbow baby number two. So guys, it is cycle day 28. <laughs> That's already something to celebrate about because I've been struggling lately to make it to cycle day 28. So that's already like, got me in a good mood. And it is 13 DPO or days past ovulation for those of you who don't know. So you say so, right here, right here, right here, right here. And for those of you who also always ask me about what app I'm using, it is the Glow app. It's on the App Store. I just like the graphics of this app the best, to be honest. I feel like some of the other apps look a little, you know, sad and dated, but I don't recommend you using just any apps for the purposes of trying to like pinpoint your ovulation. Use OBK's temp, do whatever it is you gotta do, but don't just rely on solely an app. However, this one is really good as far as tracking is concerned but anyway we are here for another pregnancy test because either i'm gonna get a test today or we're gonna be you know on the clomid train i'm just kidding clomid is actually like not that bad at least it wasn't for me at the lower dosage but yeah let's go ahead and get into this test why do all my tests like i swear all of them have these weird little freaking dents in them it's like starting to irritate me a little bit i feel like i got a weird dented up batch of tests but here's the blank test and first morning urine is right here so we're gonna go ahead and dip dip when I dip one two three and I'm gonna lay it flat on the counter and cover it up okay and then we wait for the five minutes while we wait, I want to pose a question that I feel like I probably should have already posed and occasionally moving forward will pose depending on the answer or the response that I get. I actually read somewhere within the last couple of weeks that the term baby dust actually really, really, really bothers some people, mainly due to them associating the whole dust term itself with ashes if they've had you know a stillbirth a miscarriage a loss of a physical child like anything surrounding that topic I feel like hasn't necessarily been discussed a whole lot in the TTC community or this is like the first I think real time I'm like really hearing about it or really hearing about it being problematic for some people so I wanted to know with you guys you guys are obviously like my community that are in my circle and I want to be respectful of you guys and of your feelings so I would like to know from you guys how you feel personally about the term baby dust. I know I at the end of most of my TT videos say like I am sending you guys like positive vibes and baby dust and I often like mention it. I don't overdo it but I do you know kind of mention it just as my way of just sending some encouragement to you guys and kind of standing in solidarity with you guys but if that is something that is like hurtful or problematic or just makes you feel like uncomfortable while you're going through your TTC process by all means let me know I could probably just figure out some other way of communicating those things or those feelings that I'm trying to convey other than using the physical term baby dust so no one has said anything directly to me about it but I did want to go ahead and like put it out there and see how you all felt about it so definitely let me know in the comments below symptom wise the only thing I have going on today um no more headaches or anything like that my lower back is hurting a lot uh that partially i feel like it's because i have been out of my own bed for you know a couple of days and on top of that i haven't been to the chiropractor in months now and i was going roughly every two to three weeks and i haven't had anything done to my back or my neck and it's been at least three to four months at this point so i don't know i think it's more so because of that than anything else but otherwise i haven't gotten any symptoms whatsoever which in a way has kind of been nice because then it doesn't create create me like randomly symptom spotting. But anyway, I will see you guys once the five minutes is up. And hopefully by that time, my lips won't look so doggone dry. And time is up. Nope. Mm -mm. We are gonna go ahead. I'm gonna flip this little screen back and we're gonna go ahead and see about this test. Let me pick this bad boy up. Show you guys first. 
I don't know if it needs to be closer either. Like, the closer I get to you. I hope you guys can see. Hopefully you guys saw what you needed to see because now I'm gonna go ahead and look at it. And it's negative. Yup, it's negative y'all. So yeah, it's negative, but AF has not uh, shown signs of coming yet. I haven't gotten any spotting, even any brown spotting that's been leading up to my cycle. So I'm not quite out yet, but I don't necessarily have a lot of uh, hope for this cycle. I do believe in fact, we are gonna have to go ahead and start our uh, medicated route. And with that being said, what I'm hoping for is just that when my cycle does come on, it comes on fully and doesn't do that little teetering that it did last cycle because that threw me off as far as which days I would have started the clomid so hopefully this time it just comes on strong full-fledged one thing I did do differently uh, this cycle is I went ahead and took L-arginine for my lining towards the beginning of this cycle that way even though I wasn't taking the clomid that way my lining won't be super thin for the potential upcoming um, cycle and if I'm out and am going to go ahead and start the clomid I definitely will have taken that again for the upcoming cycle as well but yeah that's all guys so either I'll be back for another test or it's just safe to for you all to assume that a new cycle has started for me either way i'll definitely let you all know i am sending you guys all positive vibes lots and lots of love i am wishing you all the best of luck on your cycles and overall on your fertility journey so i hope you all are having an amazing and wonderful week and i'll catch you in the next video bye